Welcome to the Disney Parks Podcast with your hosts, Tony Castlenova from DisneyByTheNumbers.com and Park Hopper John from WDWParkHoppers.com. Keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the podcast at all times and get ready for the Disney Parks Podcast. We know that coming to Walt Disney World can be very overwhelming with all the fast passes, the dining reservations, even getting from attraction to attraction can be extremely overwhelming. But we've got a friend that can help you make your next trip to Walt Disney World even more magical. It's Ramon and Theme Park Concierges. You can visit themeparkconcierges.com or call them at 407-257-9973. Ramon and his amazing team of VIP concierges will take care of you from the moment you arrive at the park until the moment you go back to your resort. They can take care of you for a four-hour time slot or a full day. It all depends on what you need. They can take care of your dining reservations, your fast passes, and even make sure that you find even more magic hidden in the Disney parks. Well, contact our friends, themeparkconcierges.com, or call 407-257-9973 and tell them your friends over at the Disney Parks Podcast sent you. And now, the Disney Parks Podcast infotainment segment. Okay, so what we're talking about today is uh, something got announced today. Hang on, what What was that? It'll come to There was a couple of things Disney announced, but one in particular. Something big. Something. Something big. Something with a... Don't tell me. A D in it. Had a D in it. Well, that's... I don't know. It's (laughs) private business. Uh, So... We're talking about D23. D23 made their big announcement this week about the 2019 convention. Not 2011. 2019. (laughs) So Tony is wearing, uh, for those of you who are listening, Tony's wearing... Or watching. Well, for those of you who are listening, Tony is wearing his D23 from 2011. It's looking dapper. That's nice. And he's wearing his D23 from 20... Doesn't say this one. Just the D23. Yeah. The ultimate fan club. The ultimate Disney fan club. Uh, That was the ultimate Disney fan event, actually. Yeah, so it came from the... Yeah, same logo. So it's got to be from the same year. Yeah. So it's nice. It's a nice hat. Um, So, yeah. It never really fit my head. Was it too big or too small? This one even has a nice logo inside. Look at that. That's some high quality production right there. Yeah. You don't do that kind of stuff. It still has the price tag on it, too. How much was the hat? Nineteen ninety five. Woo! Back then. Uh, what, what are they going for now? Twenty five, even? Oh, probably. Yeah, probably. All right. This year there'll be thirty. <laughs> and I think I got the shirt and the hat. Um, I, th- I still think they, because I think I was sorcerer at this time, uh, and the sorcerers can pick merchandise from the stores online, pay right. for it, right? And then you just go pick it up. You don't have to wait in the store. And mix and mingle with the regular common people. Oh, the common riffraff. Yeah, and Einstein, and Miffy. Miffy, tough man. <laughs> let's not go into that <laughs> <That's>, line. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's just go pick up our stuff and that's go nice. back to the Waldorf. Yeah, that's right. So uh, so tell us about the, uh, the news, Uncle Tony. <laughs> all right, so let's start with the dates. Yep. Uh, first of all, the tickets are going to go on sale August 23rd mm-hmm. of 2018. Uh, and then uh, officially it will begin August 23rd through the 25th of 2019 will be the, wow. the official uh, thing. Now, when they say tickets are going on sale, probably Sorcerer will hit first uh, because they'd like to collect all of that revenue. That's right. Got to pay for it before we do it. <laughs> right. And then uh, us common folk. Uh, probably gold members and charter members will be next. Right. Uh, and then Joe Q Public. Uh, will then probably get their shot. Yeah. So uh, this is what they're saying. Uh, Highlights planned for the D23 Expo include, but not limited to, 50 shows, presentations, and panels, including 
the Disney Legend Ceremony, which honors the talented men and women wow. who have made significant contributions to their Disney legacy. So 50, that seems even kind of low for three days. What's 50 divided by three like? What, what's that? 13 point something shows a day? I wasn't good at math. Yeah. It, it's not a lot. No, it's not. Uh, but I don't know if they've had... I mean, really, because the, 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 the actual convention only runs like nine to five, yeah, and yeah. then they have like a show at night. Yeah, they have one... <laughs> Uh, not far enough, but usually Saturday night is the one big event. Right. And then they have like the neck, the, yeah. it's not the Legends thing, but the, the Sunday night thing is mm-hmm. always. Uh, so I think, you know, you've got eight hours, eight hours, at least five or six shows an hour. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe, maybe they've learned, you know. Now, that shows. people can't see every- Shows might not be the same as panels. Well, it shows, presentations, and panels, all three of those combined. Oh, 50. wow. Really? Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. That sounds light. I think they've figured out that people can't see everything, have just a handful of things, and then have more stuff on the show floor where everybody, or where the they, rest of the people are. Or if they were really smart, have a handful of things and do a couple things twice. Yeah, they don't do anything twice. That's the problem. Yeah. Yeah. Understood. Um, There'll be an all-new exhibit curated by the Walt Disney Archives. Mm. Well, of course, you have a new exhibit every year. Sure. That's not news to mm. anybody. I know. Uh, they're going to continue the daily parade down the middle of the show floor. Did you see any of the videotape last year? Uh, yeah, I did. Yeah, it was I did. some of the stars that were doing the panels and yeah. stuff. And That's a new characters. thing. The, the last year I went, they weren't doing that. Yeah, well, there's 8 million people that can't get into anything. Right. And they're trying to entertain them. <laughs> Got to do something for the folks. Trying to trying to not, not make them bored out of their skulls. Right, right. Uh, D23 uh, costume contest. The masquerade? Nope, just, just the co- costume contest and then the masquerade. Oh. Yeah, so I think they're doing dual. Uh, showcasing, showcasing the most creative designs uh, by the fans. Nice. For the fans and by the fans. That's, the, uh, that's one of the craziest things I remember... The There's last, a lot of cosplay. Yeah, the last year I went, they had the uh, girl from uh, Enchanted. Mm. Uh, I can't remember. Giselle. Yeah. Giselle. They had a Giselle there yeah. who was a natural redhead, and I'm a sucker for redheads. Yeah. So, so my wife actually tracked her down and said, can I get a picture of you with my husband? It's when the guys <laughs> dress at Snow White. That's... That kind of scares me a little bit. Yes. Listen, dude, there are male... Disney characters you can dress as? Snow White's not one of them. Well, <laughs> I'm just know, saying. <laughs> there's people who, you know, they want to be princesses. <laughs> and then there's the D23 Expo Design Challenge. Uh, some more details will follow on that. Right. I don't know if they did that. This is something new. I think they did it last year. Mm-hmm. And I can't remember what it was. Right. So, now that's not to say you know they always have big tent pole areas for oh, yeah. the big TV shows, yeah, all the, the big movies, yeah. uh, certain you know. There's always animation stuff represented. Plus, not to mention all the stuff from Marvel, Star Wars, right? Uh, Disney Television, Disney Consumer Products now, who's yeah. not under another umbrella, another line of business. Plus, <laughs> on top of that, but wait, there's more. But there's more. They have all of the, the vendors there. The whole vendor floor area yeah. is ridiculous. Yeah, and uh, they, they typically have three stores. There's uh, Mickey's at Glendale, which right. is the Imagineer store, right. which is ludicrous busy. Yeah. Uh, there's the D23 Dream Store, right. uh, or Emporium Store, I think they called it last year. That's all the D23 merch. Right. The D23 themselves goes out and gets artists and people right. to make right merchandise right. that they can sell in that store. And then there's the Disney store store. Right. Yeah. Where that's like merchandise. At, you know, I was not, I've, the, all the expos that I was at, I was not really impressed. It's stuff that you can normally find at the Disney store. The only thing, uh, a couple times I had, all right, so they had uh, the big thing that everybody goes and gets is the dolls. Right. You know, they have a limited edition collector set that they do every year. Those are always hot. Uh, the only thing that I got from that store uh, was the uh, the Tron rail. Oh, cool. The Tron monorail. Yeah, 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 That's the only thing that was at the Disney store that I purchased. Everything right. else I get is at either D23 store or uh, Mickey's of right. Glendale-like. 
Like that. Get a, an Imagineer's pen focus, mate. Right there. Right. There you go. Well, let's go that way. Yeah. That's some cool stuff that you yeah. can get there. It even has the MCG tag on the back, so you know it's real. <laughs> right. So, so uh, there's a question in the comments. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a comment, but I'm going to word it in a question. Uh, Jen was asking, you know, she, she thought about going, but the crowd's been crazy. Uh, do you think, Tony, and I'll throw my two cents in, yeah. is it worth it? Uh, but she did say that the convention center's finished its big expansion. So, oh. Even in lieu of the crowds, is it worth it? If you've never been and you're a Disney fan, you have to go once. Right. You have to go once. I, that's what I tell everybody. If you've never been and you're a big Disney fan, you have to go. But you have to set your expectations very, very low. low. <laughs> go with the knowledge that you may not get into any of the panels or shows. Right. If you go with that, that thought... You'll be fine. And there are plenty of things to do. There's a lot of interactive things to do on the floor. You know, there's Star Wars stuff. There's Marvel stuff. There's the interactive pavilion. There's every line of business from Disney is there to, mm -hmm. to show or sell you something. Right. Uh, and then you have all the fan booths, mm -hmm. you know, where they're showing and selling stuff. Mm -hmm. So there are plenty of things to do. And you won't even see all of that. Right. Yeah, not even close. You know. Uh, that's my uh, that's my take on it. I've got two two main main th things that I would throw out. One, uh, the last year I went, I did not go to the last year, so mm. I guess that's twenty seventeen. Right. Uh, so twenty fifteen is my last year. Yeah. Um, I stood in line for a lot of special things, like they had uh, three different artists there who were rendering three different versions of Tinkerbell, mm. uh, and I got I got one of each. Right. Uh, I got to spend time with the artist and talk to him for a couple of seconds. It wasn't yeah. very long. Yeah. Uh, he basically saw a love and shove. Yeah. Uh, I got to see everything that was for sale, like the books, yeah. the Star Wars stuff that was coming out. Mm -hmm. I was very excited about the Marvel stuff that's coming right. out. I was very excited about. Um, and then the bigger event things, like they had a big, uh, uh, they had a very a cool experience where you got on the ship. For once upon a time, this is back oh, when yeah. once was still really yeah, getting, it, getting it, yeah. and and you went through a little experience and you got a little trinket. Uh, I, I got to go through that a couple times with Sarah. Sarah wanted to go because she thought the pirate looked like the guy from the show, and she's hot for the pirate. Right. Um, and you know, you got to go through that. There's plenty of time to walk around the expo hall, yeah. uh, expo hall, which is is the part where it's all the the vendors and stuff. Mm -hmm. Got to see a lot of things. Got to do a lot of things. Got to got to sign up for a lot of freebies. I got a lot yeah. of junk mail afterwards. Yeah. So in that regard, I think that when you go not expecting to see any of the events, mm -hmm. the uh, you know the tickets that you're paying for get you in the door. Yeah. And I think it's worth it for that. If you're not trying to see any of the panels, right? You know the the live action, the animated, uh, or any of the legends panels. <laughs> Yeah. You know, yeah, but yeah, the you second, can't get into any of the legends. The stuff. second thing, I still think it's a viable plan. Mm -hmm. uh, if you have a friend who doesn't mind sitting around and playing Xbox or not Xbox and playing on their phone or just mm -hmm. chilling out, iPad, or, or you or you can you could pay someone some money yeah. that doesn't mind sitting around and and playing on their phone, who who you could get to wait. Right. In line for you, yeah. Like for pay the, somebody to be a line. Yeah, center. <laughs> uh, I think that's viable. I don't know if Disney, pr you know, puts a kibosh on that, but yeah. we were very lucky the the last year that we went because Sid went and we traded off. She waited a lot. Uh, she waited a lot for us to go see some of the bigger things. Yeah. So like, um, she was standing in line, and I I was gonna go tag her out. And I pushed her out of line when Dreamfinder was walking through. <laughs> I'm like, you got to go see him now. Right. And she met Dreamfinder. I've never met Dreamfinder, Dreamfinder. But he had, you know, before anybody could see it was him, I was like, go. And she rushed over there and right. had an experience with him. So I think if you could go with someone, if you're willing to tag off waiting, you know, one of you waits for an hour and then mm -hmm. the other person goes and walks the expo floor right. mm -hmm. and then you trade like that. That's the best way to get. That's the only way to go. You can't do it solo and do yeah. that. Yeah. 
Yeah, there, there, there's also a lot of um, new products that, that get launched there. There was uh, the Ethan Allen furniture line. Yeah. Uh, uh, got launched there. Uh, Huffy bikes, which quickly disappeared. Yeah. They did not last, I'd say, more than three months. Huffy drastically cut the prices, and they're like, we're out of the Disney bike business. You can't, I right. can't find them now. Um, there was a, a American Tourister uh, did the uh, the whole luggage kind of set stuff. You know, there was Daisy and, and Mickey and Donald, and, you know, it was a whole, you know, Fab Five uh, luggage yeah. uh, that you can buy. Yeah. So products do get launched there. So if you are interested in <clears throat> things like that, right, it is a good opportunity to kind of get in on the ground floor. Yeah. <laughs> and you get something before it's actually out. Yeah, and if you get, uh, you know, if you take a loan out, you could have some a few thousand dollars in spending cash on you. Oh yeah, you can get some hella great stuff. Oh yeah, I mean, tremendously great stuff. Yeah. And that's not to mention the the vendor floor is where you also get your opportunity to meet, you know, your artists legends, and voice actors, artists and your voice yeah. actors, your yeah. legends. Bob Bob Gurr is always there. Oh, he Pat does. Carroll's yeah. always there. Yeah. You know, you get you Bill get Farmer. yeah, you get to meet some of those people, and those yeah. those guys are usually in the bigger money. Margaret moves. Carey, yeah. Tinker Bell, uh, Mark Silverman. Yeah, you know, all those guys are out there. And keep your eyes open because, like, we were literally walking into yeah. the vendor booth, and we turned around, and Bob Gurr Bob apparently was lost. Bob was having a rough morning. <laughs> <clears throat> he didn't have his Gertini. He was having a rough morning that morning, and. Uh, <laughs> we helped him find his booth, and yeah. uh, so that That's was kind of neat. Yeah. So those little moments happen. Yeah, I will tell you this though: uh, getting food is difficult uh, there. The at least it was when we went. Yeah. We haven't we didn't go in twenty seventeen, so we don't know if they improved it. From, from what I heard, they didn't. Right. Uh, the convention center's got you know places to get food, but the lines are out out the front door. Yeah. And uh, if you time it right. I know when we went, the last time we went, they had some food trucks out front. Mm -hmm. And we went at 11 o'clock. Right. Because everybody was still doing stuff. They weren't ready to eat. Mm -hmm. But we ate at 11 so that we can get right back at it. And we didn't wait in any lines then to eat. Yeah. Yeah. If you're willing to, uh, because I know like at least the year we went, the timing for like we wanted to watch the, the, and it was the, uh, motion picture, so it was live action and animated mm. feature films. Right? Or no, it was just the animated features. We watched that one, and it was like it started at like ten, and it was like a three hour event, and so we got out at a weird time. Right. But we were with a whole group of people. We just waited a couple hours and we ate. Yeah. Uh, and just be flexible. And I'm wondering right. if they're going to allow like Uber Eats and delivery stuff there. Uh, I don't know. That might be something to think about too. Uh, Jen is asking, can you go in and out? Not in the morning, because there's a huge line. Uh, press people will get in first. Uh, there's usually a special line for sorcerers, and there's a special line for charter members. Right. And then everybody else waits in a completely different line that usually wraps all the way around to the parking garage. Right. It's ludicrous. But once it starts, it's pretty easy to get yeah. in and out. Yeah. Uh, Another place, like if you're looking for food to eat, is either go to the Marriott or the Hilton, and they have places uh, in their lobbies that you can eat. But they, too, also, we found, get very busy exactly at lunchtime. Yeah, and D23 is not the only convention happening at that time. Yeah, so you have to deal not. with that, too. Uh, but, yeah, you can, you can pop in and out pretty easy. Uh, parking uh, is not easy. <laughs> don't. Yeah, you can walk or just Uber. Don't. Yeah, or, just don't. Yeah, if you're staying at... You know, some hotel on Harbor Boulevard, you can you can walk there pretty easily uh, or, or get an Uber. Um, the other thing I'll tell you is if you are crazy like me and you buy a ton of stuff that won't fit into your suitcase, the Hilton has a UPS store uh, on the first floor in the lobby. Right. And uh, I just brought all my bags and said, here, please ship this to my house. Yes, please and ship I, this home. I got two big boxes of stuff, yeah. you know, a couple of days later. It was ridiculous. Yeah. It was yeah. like, it was, it's great because it's like Christmas for him. Yeah, yeah. Um, then I got to find places to put it all. Right. 
I think you've done well. <laughs> uh, so what are the other what are the other things that we could? Uh, I will go ahead and dispel this rumor. If anybody's thinking like, oh, I'm press, I could get press passes yeah. and I can get into all the things and I don't have to pay for tickets. <gasps> no, yeah. press passes will get you in in the door. Door, yeah, that's it. Yeah, from what we found. Yeah, you don't get into any of this. They don't have special seating for the big events yeah. unless you're. You have to then, like, if you want to go see the parks and recreation, a uh, parks, a uh, 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 th- uh, panel or show thing. Right. Uh, you then have to get a, a press pass from the parks people. Right. If you want to go see the movie one, you have right. to get a press pass from the movie people. Right. If you want to go see the Marvel one, you got to get something from the Marvel people. Right. If you want to go see the animation one, you got to get something from the animation people. Yeah. You have to you So have you to spend reach out. The, the better part of probably six months is emailing and mailing and right. texting and phoning these people to try and get all your press credentials that you'll possibly need. Right. And if you've got that kind of time, go be there for. Yeah. Have, yeah. How about it? If you need someone to hold your camera bag, let me know. Uh, or so your you, camera. I can I can shoot yeah. I can shoot pictures too. Your camera boy. Yeah. You can do that. Yeah. Uh so yeah, it's it's exciting. It's a lot of fun. It's uh it's exhausting because it's yeah, it early, early in the morning mm-hmm. and it's late at night. And that's even before you start talking about trying to sneak in Disneyland. Yeah. Because you know you're there. Yeah. I will tell you this don't do Disney before the expo. I, I we found that we got four <laughs> tired from doing Disney and then oh my god now we have to go to the expo for three days I'm exhausted right so do that afterwards you may even want to take a day break just to catch up on mm-hmm. some sleep get relaxed right uh, and then go to Disney uh, afterwards right because that's a marathon race and it's uh, in its own but, sure sure you know you want to see everything do everything yeah. especially if you haven't been in a while like us right you know, there's a lot of new stuff to see you know, and then the next question we always get all the time is, where do you stay? You know, oh, do yeah. you stay on Disney property? Yeah, you can. It's not super convenient, mm-hmm. uh, and it's expensive. Yeah. So we always stayed on the the property either right on the main drag or across the street. And it's just, you know, it's, it's not even a mile walk. I would tell you the Marriott and the Hilton, right next to the convention center. Yes, Tony would tell you that. There's a Marriott right there. And I bet they have some great rates. I bet they're now. Now uh, that the dates are out... I bet if you uh, contact the hotel, I bet they have some great expo rates. Correct. But if, if they don't, and you don't mind walking a little bit. There's a Holiday Inn down the street. There's a Holiday Inn down the street. <laughs> I've stayed there. It's fine. Um, well, where's the hotel that everybody uh, typically stayed? Was Grand it Florida? A, or Grand, uh, no, it was, a, it was something on Harbor. It was like a, a Santa Santa Maria. Uh, Look at the chat room. I don't know. I don't know. Hilton, was it Hilton Lake Buena Vista? No. Hilton Anaheim? Oh, Hilton Anaheim. Duh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> when your wife works there. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. Maybe she can get a, a good rate. No, she cannot. Well, no. maybe she knows people that can get a good mm, rate. I don't know. She must know somebody that works for the hotel. Uh, She knows some people, yeah. So well, let's see. Go. Let's see. It's 2019. Mm-hmm. What are the dates? Uh, what oh, was you it? can't you can't book past February. Uh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's stupid. I bet if you call the hotel, you could. Yeah, probably. Uh, Hilton's offering two hundred dollars a night right now. I would do it. Yes, yes, you would. I would. All do right. It. So, what else? Uh, what other tips can we at least throw out at this All point right. of the game? Place to stay. We did. Food. Food. Things to do. Uh. uh Keep your eyes open because there's always people yeah. walking around. I mentioned that inside, but if you're staying on Disney property, usually the Grand Californian, mm. <laughs> you can always see some legends walking around. Oh, yeah. If you're going to the parks in the evening, keep your eyes open because a lot of... Yeah, not many of them stay at Disneyland. Hotel, yeah, a lot of the dignitaries bebop around there. <clears throat> yeah, I know Bob is staying there. Yeah. Look grand. Yeah, if you're, uh, if you're a DVC member... Mm-hmm. And are staying on points, and you can get up into the what is that, the concierge thing? Oh yes, that's the place to be. If you can get there, there's always yeah an after dinner party with luminaries, yeah. not Lumiere, yeah, but luminaries. Yeah. So uh, my friend uh, uh, Joy, who passed away, and Samantha, they used to stay at the Grand and stay on concierge level, and uh, they uh, had 
snacks with the Shermans, uh, Richard and his, his wife. wife. Right. <laughs> right. Uh, Billy Crystal. Who's that? Billy. Who's Billy Crystal? Yeah. Did he do anything with Disney? He was Mike Wazowski. Who's that? Is that a Disney movie? <laughs> Are you, are you messing with me right now? No. I'm just kidding with you. <laughs> I didn't know City Slickers was that big. <laughs> yeah, right. Was that a Disney movie? Yeah. Oh, sure. I'm kidding. I know. It probably was. It's probably Touchstone. Always watching. Um, yeah, always watching. Uh, who else? They, they met a bunch of people. They bumped into Lassiter. Yeah. They bumped into Gurr. They yeah. bumped into, uh, well, no, this might be Diane and them. Diane bumped into Lassiter. Yeah. But they did, too, I think, at the lounge. Yeah, Lassiter was up there. Probably not going to be this year. Yeah. Gurr was up there, and uh, Sklar. They bumped into Sklar, yeah. too. Yeah, Morty. And they won't be bumping into him. He that came... would be weird if they did. Woo! <laughs> yeah, so that's always a, an interesting place to hang out. They're not, like, in the Hearthstone area. They're up in the concierge area. They're in the, you, be, you, you know... Yeah. Locked they're, away from the Joe Q public. They're in the area where if you're staying in that area, you're probably not going to be that impressed. you be like, oh, mm. hi, Mr. Gurr, I understand yeah. you work for Disney. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what do you do? I own a billion-dollar corporation. <laughs> yeah. And Joy and Samantha, I mean, God bless her heart, uh, they used to buy, like, tons and tons of merchandise. Oh, it's ridiculous. The I, coats. Yeah, I remember the one year they, they got the leather jackets that were completely embroidered. It's like, yeah, go, go down there, Joy. Get, get, get one for you and one for me. It's like, oh, how about one for Tony? Right. <laughs> Tony would like one, too. I, I will throw this piece out. Whatever the concert is, mm. like the, la- the year we went was the yeah, Alan was- Menken <laughs> and Richard Sherman <laughs> concert. It was unbelievable. Were you I was, sleeping during I was that? sleeping. Jeez. I went back for a nap and never got up. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. You missed it, bro. <laughs> Uh, it was amazing yeah. because Alan, uh, you know, Richard Sherman came out. I think he, Richard Sherman started, and then mm. Alan Mankey came out. Mm. And what was funny was Richard Sherman came out and played all of his songs off the top of his head, told stories right. to the whole night. Here. Alan Mankey comes out, and he's got this big old book, and he's reading all the music and stuff and singing, and it was great. Uh, he had to read the music? He had to read yeah. his own music. Yeah. And because, uh, well, I, mean, I guess he's written a bazillion songs. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so or just in case then yeah, Sherman yeah. came out yeah. and then they he needs know, nothing they did let's go fly a kite together and it uh, was dueling pianos it was amazing <laughs> yeah <laughs> it was truly amazing so yeah. whatever the concert they throw together It'd be like a Billy Joel and John concert <laughs> <laughs> dueling yes. pianos yes because uh, that's the way they used to do that yeah. show. one does one and one yeah. doesn't and, and then, then they, they both, both together yeah, yeah. But it was, uh, it's truly worth it. So whatever they put together, definitely do. And 2019, what big movies are coming out in 2019? Oh, gosh, I don't know. Well, since we're sitting in front of computers. I don't know. Uh, Disney movies, 2019. And, and this is the thing. Uh, when you're looking at your um, whether or not to go, I, I hated not going to the last one because that was when Star Wars was coming out. Oh, yeah. Uh, so you've got, you got to factor this in 2019 is Toy Story 4, Ooh. Frozen 2, uh, Lion King live action, Dumbo live action, Aladdin live action. Yeah. And you know what will also be very big is the parks announcement because yes. that'll be the year before the 50th, uh, well, two years before the, the 50th, the 2021. Yeah. So there will be a boatload yeah. of WDW announcements. Yeah. It'll be that one, and then the 2021 one yeah. will probably, they probably will have some, mm. may, no, it's in June already, yeah. they'll already have it out. Yeah, or, it'll be done. So yeah, plus you've got the, the last Avengers. <laughs> um, so yeah, the the, the, the ten pole, Aladdin, Dumbo, Lion King, and Toy Story, and Frozen. Uh-huh. This is just going to own 2019. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So yeah, so, so let's ask this question too. Like, so who are uh, some people that we might want to see uh, become a legend? Anybody? Oh, you think of uh, who's not already a legend? Yeah, um, is Lasseter a legend? I don't know if he is. God, don't I know don't if know if they'll do it now. Make him a legend? Yeah, I, no, he's. <laughs> Maybe now they might postpone they it. They should make him a legend. Mm. Um. Let me see. I'm looking down the list on Wikipedia right now. Um, 
It's Bob Gurr alleged? Bob Gurr's yeah, alleged, Bob right? Yeah, Bob Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, because there were legends before the expo started yes. doing the legend right. ceremony. Jeez. <clears throat> uh, We're running out of people to use here. Uh, All oh. the 90 men are, so we don't have to worry about them. And people like Wally and uh, Bob and uh, Tony Baxter, they've all gotten their Legends Award. Right. What about Margaret Carey? Margaret Carey would be a bad choice. Or Pat Carroll. Or a Bill Farmer. I think anybody that's, that's a voice should get it. Pat Carroll's not. Yeah. Um... Carrie, um, K E R Y, right? K E R Y, yeah. She's not. Yeah, so there's a couple. Bill Farmer wouldn't be a bad a choice. Yeah. Um, Bill mean, Farmer is already a legend. Oh, he is? Okay. Um, is, let's see, I'm, I'm trying to find, let's see, Mark Hamill's already a legend. All right, what about some people from the Marvel and Star Wars? I mean, they did carry and. Carrie's a Mark legend. Hamill. Mark Hamill's a legend. Lucas is a legend. Yeah. Um, Harrison Ford. What about like? Uh, oh yeah, Harrison, Harrison Ford. Ford is not. Yeah. Harrison Ford could be a legend. I think. What about like Joss Whedon? Joss Marvel. Whedon should be a legend. Yeah. I think that uh, Kevin Feige. Ke- yeah, Kevin Feige. I think it's Feige. Feige. Uh, he should be a legend. John Favreau, if he's not already, should yeah. be a legend. Uh, I think they did. What's his name, right? Um, the Marvel creator guy. I can't. Think Stanley. Of it. Stanley. Stanley. Oh, uh, Jack Kirby should be if he's yeah, not already. Yeah, Jack Kirby. Uh, I'll tell you another one. Um, Robert Downey Jr. Mm-hmm. Christopher. The Avengers. Uh, the Avengers guys should be a legend. Yeah, maybe do them as a group. Um, yeah, just do the whole Avengers. Yeah. Just do them all. Yeah. You know? uh, I think that would be a pretty good good cast. Uh, Ellen DeGeneres should probably be a legend if she's not already. Mm. Uh, I don't think she is. Uh, no, no, I'm not seeing her. And uh, Ratzenberger is, I believe. Ratzenberger. Yeah, don't ask, ask me how to spell it. I think he is because he, he has done 17 Pixar films. Uh, I don't think he's a legend yet. No? He should be a legend. Yeah, come on. Uh, I, well, if you're <laughs> going to do that, then you should definitely do... Uh, uh, Tom Mater, mm. Owen Wilson. Yeah. Because, um, you know, that's the other ten pole. I mean, you've got... Bonnie Hunt. She's done... Yeah. I mean, films. you know, you've got most of the uh, Toy Story people. You should turn around and do most of the Cars people. Yeah, Tom they're... Hanks, Tim Allen. Yeah, I think... I think Tim is. Maybe. I'm looking. Um, but, yeah, that would... Oh, Jack Kirby mm. is. He was in the yeah, class see? of 2017. There you go. Oh, nice. Uh, so, yeah, I, I think that. Who would you? Anybody else? I think that's it. I can't, I can't think of anybody. I mean, you can think of producers. You know, Favreau would be a good person. Mm-hmm. Feige would be a great person. Um, Josh. What about Wien. somebody like Don Hahn? Don Hahn would be a great choice. Yeah. Uh, if he's not already. Yeah. Um, what about some TV people? Um, what does Disney do that's worthy of a Legends Award? Do what? <laughs> what TV show does, does Disney do that's worthy of a Legends Award? Susan Lucci? I sh- Looking right at it. Class of 2015. Yeah. But she, was on AB, she was on daytime TV for 20-some years. Okay. But, all right, besides that? Dick Clark. Be- Guy be- Williams. Regis Philbin. Regis, I get uh, Betty White. I get that. Rue McClanahan. All the Golden yeah, Girls, all basically. The girls are, I get them. <laughs> you know. That was classic for them. Uh, let's see. Who else is 10? And the front exteriors were shot here at Disney's yeah. Hollywood Studios back in Gary the Gary Marshall, producer. Get it. Uh, Oprah. Did. Don't care. <laughs> Whoopi. Don't care. Don't care. Uh, so, yeah, there's some people on to Who would we be? Probably Seacrest. What does he do that's on Disney? Isn't channels? he on uh isn't he on American Idol? 
Well, that's on ABC, but I don't think... Please, Ryan, frickin' Seacrest. Yeah. No. He, he should not get a Legends Award. Well... Neither, he should get thrown off a of television. He's neither should Oprah, he's a Kardashian. she's not on ABC. Oprah's he's a Kardashian. ABC, uh, a, uh, Oprah's not on ABC. Yeah, but she's done uh, ABC movies. Okay. Uh, Kathleen movies. Kennedy. Kathleen Kennedy would that's be That's a great choice. Yeah, David David Maruka says Kathleen yeah, Kennedy is a great choice. choice. Yeah. That's really, really good choice. What about like the the cast of the middle? It's a great yeah, show. It's been on television bad. a long time. Um, and some of that cast has done some Pixar films. Yeah, I mean, what's the? Yeah, New York. Uh, well, Seacrest has done Dick Clark's Rock and E for a long time. <laughs> James Dotsy's in the room, everybody. Okay, so for those of you who are listening and watching, it has to be people that Tony likes, or else they don't get to be legends. <laughs> See, if Tony ruled the world... I am going to say would, this. No Whoopi, no Oprah. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't disagree with him. Ryan has got no talent. What does Ryan Seacrest do that uh, he's... I, I'm going to put in the words of... Uh, uh, what's her name? Miss Walters. You Baba don't sing, Wawa? Yeah. You don't sing. You don't dance. You don't write. You can't play an instrument. What do you do? He's got teeth. He's got pretty teeth. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> hey, man, I'm not a fan. I'm just throwing Listen, out... he's got a face for radio. I just threw out ideas. You said you want ideas. I gave you ideas. He's, he's got a face for radio. I, I don't disagree. <laughs> I don't disagree. I was trying to think who would be another... Uh, is Roseanne? Roseanne Barr? Oh, well, she's back on ABC. Goodman's, Goodman's already in. Yeah. Uh, Roseanne wouldn't be a bad I chance. am actually excited for tomorrow night. Is that the show? Yeah. I'm interested to see how they retcon Dan back into the show. Yeah, it'll be a dream. It'll all have been a dream. <laughs> He'll be back. I like uh, how they're going to try and fit in the two Beckys. Oh, yeah. Weird, right? Yeah, yeah. Two Beckys. Two Beckys. It'll be very interesting. It'll be Becky one and Becky two. It's like every other scene will be a yeah. different Becky. Yeah. Just to see if anybody notices. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Weren't you just... Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. And uh, uh, Roseanne, was, uh, Roseanne and uh, John were on uh, Kimmel. And they were talking about, like, you know, the premise of, you know, the kind of the reboot. And she said, well, we're going to start with um, uh, taking, like, a, an everyday family, like Roseanne's family... Uh, and how it can be split apart that, you know, some people like uh, uh, this president, Trump, and some people don't like this president, right. Trump, and how that clashes. I'm like, oh, gosh. Oh, yay. We're living that right now, Roseanne. Yeah. Just get on Facebook. Yeah. But uh, she is very pro-Trump. I saw that. I saw that she was... In real life. Not just yeah. on the show, but in real life. Yeah, I saw that. So... Uh, you know, listen. She, if you've ever, if you ever saw her little reality show, uh, you know she lives in Hawaii. Uh, she lives on an island, her. Hawaii, and she doesn't live in a very big place. It, it, it's on a farm, right? And uh, but she is cray cray. Yeah. Shocking. Yeah. What what a total shocker. Yeah. But right. I'm interested to see and the people that she was talking about that used to write for the show. Mm -hmm. Is like a who's who of comedy people. Well, yeah. I mean, Johnny Galecki got a star on that show I think from Norm Big Bang. Norm MacDonald's writing for the show again. Nice. Uh, yeah, Galecki's coming back as, a, I think, uh, some characters. But some of the original, you know, big names are coming back to write some episodes. Nice. So it's going to be good, I think. It's great. It's I just great. hope they don't screw it up. I was not a super Who cares fan. If they screw it up. I was, listen, I was not a super fan of the other one, but uh, we really got off on a tangent here. Yeah. But um, I, I, I don't want to see it crash and burn because I think it'll be funny if they. I don't want to do see it crash and burn either. But this is not going to be a show that's going to be on for twenty more years. It's going. It's going to three, four, five seasons at most. I don't know. Will and Grace is back. <laughs> God help us all. All cylinders firing. God help us all. It's pretty funny stuff. Yep. Uh, all right. Anything else you want to throw about D23? We will say that, what I said before. If you've never been and you think you're a hardcore Disney fan in your heart, in your heart of hearts, if, you <laughs> if your house looks like this, <laughs> right. 
you should go, you have to go once. Correct. Uh, when the schedule comes out for the three days, pick at least one or two things, one in the morning, one in the afternoon, right. that you would really, really like. Don't call it that you can't miss, that you would really, really like to see if you had the opportunity and then try to get into those uh, two things. I will say this. If you think that you're a Disney fan, you, but might, you're not. you might reconsider. <laughs> you might reconsider when you meet some of these people. I thought I was a Disney fan. Mm. I have no... <laughs> yeah, no. I just was crazy enough to start blogging and podcasting about it. But I've met some really crazy oh, yeah. Disney fans yeah. that this place brings when they, out. When they come full on dressed at you. Jews. That's crazy. That's Whew, crazy. It's pretty scary. All right. Anything else? That's it. All right. Well, friends, thank you so much for being a part of the uh, Patreon group at Disney Parks Podcast. Uh, we're going to shut it down now. And then in about uh, 17 minutes, we're going to light the fires and kick the tires for the live show over at Facebook.com slash Disney Parks Podcast. Love to see you there. Once again, thank you. Uh, we appreciate you guys joining up with us and uh, helping us keep uh, the wheels turning and the lights on, as they say. Mm -hmm. And uh, without that, without anything else, I guess we'll... That's it. See, see you in, in the, the parks. parks. The Disney Parks Podcast is not affiliated with the Walt Disney Company. All Disney Parks, attractions, lands, shows, event names, etc., are registered trademarks of the Walt Disney Company. Like a boat out of the blue Fate steps in and sees